so tomorrow first i will tell about ip address and then uh, osa layer and this uh, devices okay and uh, in a uh, what are the ppt i shared to you guys the that contains information okay all information is there in this ppt you have all information so you can better to study some people know uh, little earlier some people don't know st still no wallop try uh, this is the diagram i already uh, given see it is so physical topologies and all uh, ring topology star topology uh, different commands we use in the networking what is trace rt and all and about ip addresses okay so uh, about classes okay how to check the ip address how to configure manual ip address how to configure from dhcp okay and also uh, what is the osa layers what are the port numbers protocols okay so this explanation is also there okay so now it is already uh, one one o'clock uh, like a one five so maybe you have to attend afternoon classes also there you have to prepare right so i am not um, guys what you do uh, try these things on yourself okay already i explained what is a modem and all right so modem i explained so try firewall modem try what is modem what is firewall default gateway already i explained what is proxy what is proxy this is your assignment kind of stuff what is vpn okay and uh, already i told so there is a lot of uh, resources are available and also one of the easiest resources i given so that is this kind of stuff power power set uh, uh, animated videos find out what is vpn there what is proxy difference between proxy and vpn okay what is a modem what is the use of modem what is the difference between modem and uh, router what is wireless access point what is wireless access point wireless ap what is wifi router why we call this one as a wifi router in and next one is a traditional route now home routers home internet routers what about it so home internet routers so how what is the difference between that and my main main diagram so find out all these things uh, uh, yourself okay so we will discuss uh, whenever we got a chance or next tomorrow or day after tomorrow so we'll try to uh, explain it okay so since morning lot of people are uh, more excited uh, about uh, uh, topologies that's why i'm switching to uh, direct topology part here there is a uh, two important things guys it is uh, one is physical topology what is physical topology the way it is connected physically connected devices connected or we can say the way of devices connected is a physical topology so which forms network not networking it forms network not networking so only network only so remember physical topologies create network not networking next what is this logical topology what is a logical topology the way the way ip addresses configured to communicate or defining the communication is and mainly it is used for networking purpose
the network is the physical connectivity what is networking is a logical communication so logically should be there so remember so okay again don't put like a physical topology belongs to mac addresses logical topology is belongs to ip address yes logical topology is belongs to ip address but physical topology not belongs to mac address remember guys we are, we are uh, so some people uh, people in a school days it's a term different type of mentality because lesser the knowledge only roamers will uh, will understand nowadays uh, even the person is from uh, like you know he can be a, a very intelligent people he studied uh, so many books and all okay so much of knowledge i don't know what happened to the people are speaking so one side language or uh, an, another side is they're telling it is a waste kind of stuff right okay so like in north korea is a great country uh, is that type of people also there okay so what, what i'm trying to say is you know logical topology base is ip based ip address based so based on that only communication is there the communication will be defined so that is networking base so simply say logical topology is belongs to ip address physical topology is belongs to the way it is connected the way connect physical connectivity exactly say physical connectivity so when you hear logical topology is ip address automatically people are thinking uh ah, physical topology so then what is physical topology ah, it's a mac related no no okay so think completely uh, different ways and make sure that is right or wrong what is exactly also no problem if you think is whether it is is, is it like a uh, we can put a one question is a physical topology physical address is a mac address logical address is ip address logical topology is ip address related so physical address is mac address physical topology is mac related so you can think like that but still you have to continually thinking don't stop thinking at that point that is continually thinking exactly what is a physical topology it is okay so that is important not i am not saying like so wrong way thinking does not mean uh, uh, you should not think wrong way thinking is uh, 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 so right way thinking does not mean you should not think right way thinking is keep thinking keep adding keep understand logically okay so guys physical topology the way device is connected physically is called a network okay so logical topology the way ip address configure to communicate for networking purpose so i am reducing this part also so this is a better way this is improve like this so what are the physical topologies guys uh, understanding uh, this networking part are you guys are able to understand what is this networking uh, so many words sentences are there topology is a physical layout of system connected in the network so here, here already i have written so it's not a big deal that's uh, so mainly the different uh topologies So why it is small and why it is big? Okay, I'm 
ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಬೆಟರ್ ವೇ ನಾವು ಆಲಾರಿನ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಸ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜಿ ರಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜಿ ಮ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜೀಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೈಪಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಟಾಪಾಲಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ so bus topology ring topology mesh topology and star topology of course there is a hybrid topologies point to point topology point to multi point topology for star topology i am writing here it's a extended star because it's a scalable star topology can be increased into larger size okay so that is also i am adding here otherwise you can add into the separated part so you can add it into separate part so what is a physical topology the way you are connecting devices together so that is called a physical topology uh, i i think i given a small explanation is here uh, so diagrammatically uh so it is very easy to explain guys so we know this one so explanation only we required right so then that is enough now uh, we can power cut so no problem i will explain uh, i need a drawing one okay so like this so here it is pcs devices are connected all these devices are connected via a backbone cable via a backbone cable you know as i said you know olden days there is a connectivity is there like a, they use uh, a co- coaxial cable from coaxial cable there is a multiple cable connections we can draw so we choose a one back, backbone cable main cable will be there thick cable from that one multiple connections will take it and connect it like this so it is like a, a single cable cut it and make it as a t connection okay again make it as a t again make it as a t so now what happen it is it is a bus topology what is the disadvantage of this bus topology it is so look at here if wire is broken you can't able to communicate further so you can able to communicate a to b but b to c or uh, uh, b to d cannot able to communicate because the communication is stop working afterwards if device is not working no problem but wire is broken main backbone wire is broken it is very difficult to communicate so this is a very simple very less cost costless solution it is a costless solution uh costless means only wire is there only backbone wire dependent that's it so it is very easy to configure and easy to communicate with it but difficult to troubleshoot 
difficult to troubleshoot because it's a uh, hundred computers are there hundred computers you have to run a cable and somewhere it is broken we don't understand where it is broken next one is guys ring topology what is this ring topology actually i like to draw all these things uh, lack of time i am not drawing okay what is this ring topologies what is the ring topology it is look at here so each and every device is connected to next device right so it's like this a is connected to b b is connected to c c is connected to d d is connected to e e is connected to a finally last device is connected to a it's like a closed loop kind of stuff and it works based on the different algorithm there is a algorithm should be implemented like this you have to write a should send a message to b b will send a message to c like this only for example a want to send a message to d you want to send a message to d so a to b b to c c to d you cannot send directly it will only send in this chain only so also you can change a to e possible right but no because it's a single loop either clockwise or anti clockwise type i configure a to b b to c c to d d to e d e to a a to c communication a to c communication so look at here a to c communication is a to b yeah this is a to c communication a to b b to c a to c communication for example c to a communication i'll choose uh, another color so uh, this color what it is c to a communication so c to a c to a means how it is c send a packet to d d to d it is e and e to a okay so this is a, a clock clock related uh, communication it is okay it is a uh, either it is choose okay so it, it works like that only clockwise or anti clockwise communication only so what they done so uh, this is the clockwise communication so to avoid this delays so what they done they will put like this a to e e to d d to c c to d b to a communication also defined both the ways clockwise anti clockwise so the algorithm will decide so a to d communication which is the easiest path and there is a one uh, point is also there uh, in a one single clock in one single clock for example here it is a wire is cut broken means c to d communication is broken but a cannot able to communicate it to e that is also one difficulty okay or maybe d system is down communication is also stopped or b com device is uh, down communication is also there it is very easy to configure but important is each and every device you have to go and uh, implement this algorithm the way of it is communicating to avoid this kind of conjunction means like so if wire is broken or a system is broken or a down you can't able to communicate further so they introduce double ring double ring means so one algorithm will tell like a, you are configuring a to b b to c c to d e to a and also reverse means anti clockwise and clockwise direction algorithm is implemented so then it is communicate in a either the direction depends upon the number of uh, devices uh, dis distance so it is calculates in the system so which is the the way it will go next one is if in case any device is broken still the chain of communication will be there so i so uh, okay the chain of the, the communication chain will not broken it is because of double ring topology
but what is the difficulty here it is uh, not very difficult but small difficulty is there what it is if in case i got a new pc for example efpc is added now i have to remove this connection a to f f to b af fb communication i have to again i have to implement a to f f to b and uh, b to c c to d e to a okay again uh, something new system is added again i have to reconfigure entire thing so that is a difficulty it is not a scalable one it's not much easy to scale okay guys Next one is I have a PCs. I'm connecting these PCs. Each PC is connecting to all other PCs. I don't think it is a fish topology kind of stuff. Yeah. So here it is. The technique is each PC is connected to all other PCs. So this PC is connected to other PC. A is uh, sorry. A is connected to B, C, D. E, that's it. A is connected to A. A is connected to sorry. A is connected to B, C, D, E. So it is connected to everything. And B is connected to A, E, D, C. It is not a chain of connecting. It is so everything is connected to everything. What is the advantage of it? If this wire is broken. it a is communicating to everyone b is communicating to everyone c is communicating to everyone only this path communication is not happen a to e direct communication is not there a to e direct communication is not there. okay if for for example a device is down e is down no problem all are all others are communicate each other only that pc won't communicate if wire is broken all are communicate each other only that pc is not communicate that to one path only it is not communicate it is highly reliable highly reliable than any other topology why highly reliable if one path is broken no problem if one system is down no problem all other systems will communicate each other it is used mesh topology this is called a mesh topology sorry i didn't put any name here i thought someone will guess uh, and they will shout uh, this topology So this is a mesh topology, guys. Mesh topology make a communication between. So it's connect to every each and every one. One dev a device is connected to all other uh, devices. So that is called a mesh topology. It is highly reliable de device. Why? Because if a system or a uh, a device or a cable is disconnected or down. no problem all remaining communication it will be as it is no interdependent where it is used server side router side means main core server side core router side uh, storage purpose san storages are there no in a san uh, storage networks so they use mesh topology why mesh topology if one server is down no problem we will communicate we will get it information from another server or one network uh, switch is down no problem other switch we will get it so this is called a mesh topology but what is the difficulty in mesh topology why we are not using mesh topology guys number of system increases this connecting is become more complex it's a complex connectivity it is reliable but complex cost is not required to buy a, any additional devices only wires are important but thing is it's very difficult to scale for example i purchase a new computer now what i have to do 
so this is the f computer it is so i have to connect like a to b a to f b to f c to f d to f e to f you have to connect it okay now again every system you have to go and add one more nic for interface card is required right one more nic and we have to connect it to uh, our device so when large number of network increases like a 10 is there 20 is there how many wires we are using how many nic's we are using so count it okay so count it so then we will understand number of wires and nic's for each device is increasing so very difficult to scale very difficult to troubleshoot if in case really any issues occur so it's very difficult to understand because large number of wires are there okay so this is the mesh topology highly reliable and redundant but cost complexity and uh, of course difficult to troubleshoot part difficult to scaling scaling next one is star topology guys so lot of people think not lot of people some people still thinking star topology means this is the star topology in a in certain colleges people tell this is that star topology it's a uh, uh, they will draw a star first and they forget to check the test work so they tell this is the star topology personally this diagram people are start writing the diagram like this for mesh topology to easy to write purpose there are put a one star so then they can able to implement even i tried that one first but i didn't done like that so this is the mesh topology the star is there so it make you connect all the five devices five corners like this some people think it is star topology you know guys it is mesh topology purpose so what is the star topology last time you guys asked hub and switches are uh, star topology or not yes hub and switches used for a star topology purpose only look at here i have a devices i connecting these devices to a centralized device the central device can be hub or a switch the central device can be a hub or a switch so this can be a hub or a switch so entire communication depends upon this switch only so centralized device and all communications through this device only so this is called as star topology it is very easy to configure little cost why because of we are using switch and not much redundant redundancy is not there but still we are using this star topology only we are using star topology only so here it is if this switch is down or hub is down entire communication will be stopped entire communication will be stopped it is danger right but still it is very easy to troubleshoot troubleshooting is very easy why troubleshooting is easy we know where is the problem is it a wire problem device problem or hub bar switch problem okay we can easily understand by looking at the scenario for example this piece is down no problem all other pieces will communicate each other for example this wire is down all the other pieces will communicate each other if your hub bar switch is down no uh, communication at all so we can locate where is exactly issue is a device issue where cable issue or it can be a or it can be a your switch or a hub issue so easy to configure less complex easy means it is less complex easy to troubleshoot and it is scalable what is scalable for example you know in our pune office we have a multiple system we have a 24 port switch but more than 30 pieces are there in the classroom switch ports are 24 pieces are 30 
more than 30 30 31 32 pcs are there including my laptop also sometimes i'll connect wi-fi sometimes i'll use wire okay so what happened here more system than a switch boards so what i will do it i'll buy another switch and connect some other devices okay to the switch like this so it is the first one is network one one segment let's remember this this is one segment one one network means one segment this is the two segment second segment Sig segment number one segment number two two segments two networks two segments two networks now what i'm doing is this is the hub or a switch connecting to this hub or a switch part so what happened now it is totally become single segment network only single lan network so earlier two lans it is now it is single lan only i'm not using any van network here van connectivity simply i took a wire both are side by side so i took a wire and make a connection between this switch to other switch so obviously it is scalable this is called a extended star extended star topologies okay so there is a two more points so uh, what is a point to point guys point to point means this is the device a point this is a device another point so this is called a point to point network point to multi point this is a device and these are all devices so one point to multi point communication so multi point also having a point to point multiple point to points become a point to multi point means this is the point these are the multiple points uh, a lot of examples are there this is the one of the example look at here generally point to point means this is my router and uh, this is my isb router something like that okay so there are connected for getting internet purpose so this is point to point this is point to point point to point protocol or point to point top all these also there this is the router so this point is connected to this point for example this is isb uh, inside so they have a uh, multiple routers okay so this router is connecting to so this multiple routers so this is called a point to multi point kind of stuff look at guys this is point to two point this is this side single point only this side this is for example r1 r2 r2 side r2 is a single point here but it is connected to r3 r4 and r5 means it's a point to point point to point become multiple points so then point to multi point of course this is also included here so router is connected to r1 r3 r4 i r5 r6 so meaning is it's a point to multi point protocol for r1 to r2 point to point r4 to r2 point to point r3 to r2 point to point only and what is this hybrid hybrid is a mixture of two or more protocols for example this is point to point right so i created a for example i created a star topology it is a star topology but there is a point to point so obviously it is a hybrid some people saying like that so we don't know okay so i will tell one very simple it is when you are using a mixed topologies for example you choose For example, you choose a star topology 
and as well as a mesh topology that is called a full mesh topology so mesh top start topology means all devices are connected to centralized device it is a either hub or a switch in a mesh topology all devices are connected to each other all devices are connected to each other also then obviously it is there is a start topology and as well as a mesh topology so obviously this is called a full mesh topology and it is highly redundant topology uh, is there okay so it is a hybrid topology also called as a hybrid topology so this is so it's very difficult some people keep asking me about a what is tree topology what is tree topology what is a tree topology is that there is no tree topology at all but still some people are uh, learn from somewhere they keep asking what is tree topology guys it is nothing but a it's a kind of uh, connecting like this there is a core server core server is connected to multiple distribution uh, servers or maybe switches or routers again access layer switches are connecting like this so it is a hierarchical model tree topology is a basically hierarchical type means there is a one single main core server core router is there or core switch is there okay core server is there and it is connected to multiple devices like a one switch main switch is connected to multi 10 switches okay main switch is connected to 10 switches so this is the main switch is connected to multiple switches it distribute the information like this and each one is connected to other switches like a chain only hierarchical type only and each one is connected to others so we can able to create a very large network with this kind of topology okay so it is a kind of a movie stand you just help others like a help three members and tell them to help other three members so that kind of story it is so like a very simple it is a mainly main one become a core like a core router core switch or core server kind of stuff this is a distribution layer means core is connected to multiple uh, distribution layer switches routers kind of stuff and it is connected to accesses that's a hierarchy so free topology is a basically hierarchical one okay so here it is i'm not going any uh, uh, this thing just i'm copy pasting already i explained bus topology ring topology uh, all this kind of stuff so then for it okay so these are the main important topologies ring topology ring topology I can copy text base also, but I am copying as a slide only.
uh, something I given uh, some blank there okay also go through these uh, things uh, okay so what are the uh, commands it is there okay you can try what is uh, ping okay what is the use of these commands the commands also very important try it so I given two things now guys check it compulsory what are the things you learn in a networking and uh, different devices different uh, devices we use and uh, and I explained few but I given a uh, few things to you also that is what is modem firewall proxy VPN wireless access point what is wireless router what is home internet router so what are the parts of it wow it is like numbers names uh, kind of stuff okay so you have to check this one Next uh, uh, commands. Okay. So our uh, uh, commands. So try to get the command part also. First topology ring topology like this. What is the use of these commands? What happened? What is happening to it? Control C. Find out these protocols, how, what is ping, what is TSRT, what is NSLICA, what is NETSTAT, okay. What is IP config, what is IP config all, what is get MAC and uh, uh, what is uh, root, what is ARP, what is ARP space IP in A, kind of stuff, also some router information. Okay, so um, try these things. So these comments are also very important. So tomorrow uh, we'll discuss about a IP address directly. It's like a IP address. Uh, possible that comments first IP address, then comment some comments, and then a voice layer we'll discuss. Okay. So then the main uh, main basic part of uh, networking is it's in a one some a small part at least some main part will be completed. So then next we will see uh, any new. With the additional topics we we can not additional topics so we still there lot of topics are there like a basics of hardware is there and um, um, basic windows uh, 10 related information act to directory dhcp dns information is also there so last time i want to fa uh, forward one video but i forget so not forgetting just uh, i don't think uh, people watch or not that uh, kind of stuff dilemma so this is my video like uh, I will forward that one also so tomorrow I will forward not today so tomorrow you just do these things guys okay yeah, enough